vestigial full here. Well, I'm doing some cornstarch experiments. I got this tin foil pie container with a mixture of cornstarch and water in it. You can vary how much you have of cornstarch and how much water to get different thicknesses. So, and you, you gotta get the mixture just right. Get get the proportions just right so that it, it behaves like how it's supposed to. It's called a non-Newtonian fluid and there's a, a lot of things you can do with it. Now, when you press it hard, like I'm doing here, it it's solid. And, and But if you press in it lightly, like it goes in. It's a non-Newtonian fluid. It, it behaves differently from how fluids regularly would. And so there, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. Like, you can pick some of it up like this and then it'll get a gooky and come down. You can put your fork in it like this and then just pick up and it looks all gooky. It's like slime come, coming down. And it's pretty cool. Well, you can put food coloring in here like I have here and I got one drop of red, a drop of green, and this is like the that one milk experiment where you put milk in some kind of container like this, put food coloring, and you drop in some soap and it'll spread the food coloring around because the soap spreads out the fat in the milk, but it's a pretty cool experiment. I'll put a link to it in the description, but but that's a whole nother thing besides this. So anyway, back to this. So, and it, you put, can mix it around like this and it'll, it'll get the colors sw swirled up. It's pretty cool. It's like, like a double rainbow. I feel like a hippie here. Yes. Yeah, so. uh, and uh, another thing is you, you want to keep this mixture stirred up because if you leave it sitting around it, it tends to get hard. So you want to mix it up thoroughly and you can add in water to the mixture to make it thinner or cornstarch which will make it thicker and experiment with different ratios and other thing is putting salt in it will dilute the mixture. No, no, actually it'll make the mixture thicker because it'll dissolve the water. Right. You can hit it with a hammer. I'm making a mess here. You can drop things in and see how Long it'll take you to sink. Oh no, Luigi's in a pit of quicksand. No, he's he's dying. Yeah. No. And then there's BBs here. Let's see. You can shoot things at it, see whether it goes through it or or get bounced off. Like I have this rubber band gun here. So, uh, bounced stuff, well, at least the first one did. <laughs> yeah, and, but as for a, a product review on this gun, which I got off Amazon, I give it four stars. I mean, it's a functional rubber band gun. It works well. It serves my purpose as well, just to be entertained and. But the problem with it is that, like a lot of things, it, it tends to just lay around at my house, so I give it four stars, but, but I, I would recommend it. Anyway, moving on, you can bounce balls into the mixture. I, 
there's all kinds of things that you could do. I've been experimenting with it and I've been having all kinds of fun with it. Maybe even too much fun. You can blow a straw into it like this. You can put some kind of sound system under it, like, but, but all the sound systems that I had weren't powerful enough, and, but if you had one that was powerful enough, you could put it under there, and, it, and the mixture would probably, like, bubble up and look, uh, like a lava lamp, like, all hippie-ish and stuff, but, hey, I don't have any sound system that's powerful enough for that, so. I can't do that. They should almost make like armor pads for these type of things. I mean, the, the harder someone would try to hit someone with it on, the more their hair would get deflected. <laughs> right. And I mentioned bouncing a ball into it. Well, speaking of balls, well, I got this this bouncy ball here made of rubber bands. Uh, it's easy to make. All, all you do is you start off with one rubber band, curl it up into itself, put some more rubber bands on it, and then just continue that process. Uh, you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want and put whatever kind of rubber bands you want on it. Yeah. Well, this but this cornstarch and water mixture, it's, it's a lot of fun. You really should try it out. And you, another, another thing you could do with it is put some kind of spinning thing in it, like a Dremel. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right. But right, that's about all I have. Uh, thanks for watching. And the Stigio Full out.